Hello, my name is Jason Culp. I'm an application engineer here at Norn Technologies. I'd like to run through a cul-de-sac with you today. First, we're going to start out by creating a main road corridor that goes down the center line of our entire alignment that we have shown here. Now you can see we can go ahead and pull this back to give ourselves enough room to put in our cul-de-sac. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new alignment and we're going to draw a line for each representation of the edge of metal on each side of the road. We want to draw these in a counterclockwise orientation. So I'm going to select the line. I'm going to grab my edge of metal. I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to come up here and I am going to give myself a reference line. And then I'm going to drag it out and attach it to the end of my existing edge of metal. So now that I've got those in, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw my diameter for my cul-de-sac. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab the end of that alignment. I'm going to tell it that I want to do a counterclockwise. I want to do a 25 foot radius. And now I want to go up and I want to get my chamfers or my free floating curves as they call them. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to grab those. I'm going to select both objects. It's going to ask me if I want to be less than 180. I say yes. I want it to be a reverse curve and I want it to be a 15 foot diameter. I can go ahead and I can just click on these other two points on the other side, tell it I want a 15 foot diameter again and get the same results. Now that I have those in there, I have a nice alignment for my edge of metal corridor uh, assembly to follow. So now what I'll do is I'll go into my assembly and I'll edit that. I'll go back up to corridor properties, go into my parameters, and a baseline. Grab that. I'll go ahead and add a region in here. And then the assembly I want to use is going to be a right lane. It's only half the road. I'm going to set my targets here. So I want to set the left side because they're going to be left of my actual alignment. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick the screen box just so I make sure that I have the right alignment. And I'm going to grab that center line of road. I'm going to add that, say OK. And then for my outside elevation target for left side, I'm going to select the same thing. The alignment is associated with that profile. We'll say OK. Okay, and then we'll make sure for some reason it didn't take, so we'll just make sure we set our existing service. Say okay, apply. All right, so now we have our actual call sac that came in. Let's take a look at it in object view and make sure everything looks good. Now you can look up in here in object viewer and you can see that all the code set styles are just set up to show the grass, the edge of curb, uh, and the grading, and asphalt, and all the different styles.